Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing a haul on more stuff that's been in our vehicles. We got a light flickering. In our vehicles, there's only a few plush, so most of this has been picked up at estate sales, yard sales, but I do recognize something that I picked up at one of our local thrift stores. Um, it was the day that Robert was buying a bunch of jeans and I just kind of went through the store. So let me show you the coffee. We pick up a lot of coffee mugs. They are slow sellers, but when you can pay a quarter for them and list them like 10, 20 bucks, I'm okay with that. I have plenty of storage for coffee mugs, but look at these at the thrift store. This is Ray Dunn. I don't know. I'm probably going to sell them together. They seem like they might be a set. But not only did I find these, but I found this one, which says Love Ray Dunn by Magenta. I haven't done comps on these. I'm hoping, you know, anywhere from $8 and up, preferably $10. But I'm all about the $8 to $12 stuff. And then they had this. It why says, would be, "Why would you be that way? Why would you sell cheap stuff?" Because it all I wish, I adds up. I want you to up. sell hundred dollars stuff. I it, wish, but I can sell a hundred ten dollar items before I find and sell one one hundred dollar item. And then this, look, it was more cricket, right? And it's it's backwards, like it would be. But I just thought that was adorable. Again, I didn't do comps. I'm hoping 10 to $15 for it. I think Robert grabbed this. Where did you get this at? Yard seller Yard at that sale. thrift. But it says Richardson snapback. We pick up a lot of snapbacks. Um, and then, you know, a lot of them sell anywhere from like $15 and up usually. I've had a few that I sold for quite a bit. We'll wait another cup from that thrift store. This one is Toscany Collection Japan. But look, it's a little cat watching for the mouse to come out. I just thought it was cute. And then I think I paid, I'm going to say $3 for this. But it's one of those like hors d'oeuvre vegetable platter type things. It's plastic. It does have its bot. Sorry. Oh, it has a knife. Ooh. I didn't realize there's a little knife in here. It has a little knife. But it's Better Homes and Gardens. Definitely looks vintage. Serve yourself party starters. I'm hoping like $20, $25 for it. Robert picked this up. I've got a whole box of license plates that we bought at the Highway 127, and we were both just saying we don't know quite sure where it got put, but I'm going to go ahead and get these listed. I heard somewhere, I don't remember where, that the ones that have the, the date. stamped mm -hmm. the stamp date Do better. sell better than the ones that have the, the sticker dates. Yep. And what would you say eBay's rule, rules were? Yeah. Beth, three, three years Beth older. My, my wonderful moderator in my Facebook group and my best dis, bestest buddy um, said that she found where eBay says license plates have to have have to be three years or older in order to sell them. So I'll have to make sure that. And I guess you could use the the sticker like if you don't have dates embossed on the plate, use the the last sticker. You know, a lot of states like ours have a recurring every year sticker that you have to put on your car when you register it. So take them all off except for the bottom one? Is mm -hmm. that what you're saying? Maybe if you can get them off. I don't think you can get those daggone things off. They're like permanent, but it might be something that you can scrape off. I don't know. I don't know. I bought this at our little estate sale we like to go to. It does have its original box. It's a five-year diary, but there's no key. So it looks like it's going to be something that you just got to kind of get something in there and open it up. I paid $3 for it. I just 
it intrigued me. Just it's, it looks leather, that cute design. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, but I have no clue because I don't think I've ever, ever bought a diary before. Now I did pick this up. I paid ten for it, but when I checked comps they were kind of up there I want to say like over $50 but there were quite a few my only concern on this is it is older it says expires 2010 for the perfume that's in here so I'm going to make sure I put that prominently in the title in the description probably make up an item description no an item specific block for it um, because you know it's more about a collector wanting just to put this on on their shelf but definitely keep your eyes out for or eyes open for brat stuff and monster high stuff in the box flocked rabbits banks they were a quarter each. I think I picked these up at that same thrift store I got all of the um, coffee mugs at. Look, I think this came from a, a yard sale. A quarter. It's that carnival glass. Just really nice condition. So, for a quarter, right? Must have been a coffee cup kind of weekend. This one is Pier 1 Imports. I think it says, yeah, Mud Pie 2013. I just love it. Very cute. And then advertising, it actually said free. Southern Gas and Oil Company. That's a Virginia phone number. So I just picked it up because we're all about advertising, especially pharmaceutical coffee mugs. This is noisy. But I picked up... A huge tote of um, Lincoln Logs. Keep your eyes out for Lincoln Logs, especially the more vintage ones. But especially, sorry, it's going to be noisy. Especially if you can find the ones that have the tracks. I will sell these tracks separately um, as a lot. Um, I have a huge pile of them in here. Um, and then I'll sell the wooden blocks and like any of the roofs and doors and stuff like that. Um, here's here's a train. Hopefully I'm going to find some more of the train and I'll, I might sell it separately. Um, this is just a whole bunch of the, the wooden train there. A whole bunch of the wooden blocks. But the real treasure with Lincoln Logs are the figures. The horses. And then some of the other figures. Now this one's this one's got some issues. I'll probably throw him away. But I don't know. Um, and then two more of the figures. These tend to be what you get the most money for. And I, I may leave the five of these together. But... It, I may be listing them for like $25, $30 just for the figures. So my $3 um, lot is going to be a whole lot of money. I think I got this out of a free box. But a lot of these older parts for vacuum cleaners can do well for you. I didn't check comps on it yet. But, you know, it all adds up. And then I didn't know about this. I paid a dollar. Flynel, flynel, vinyl flannel back tablecloth by Betty Crocker. Look, the strawberries. I just thought it was very unique. I'm hoping maybe about $20 for it. Oh, oh, this is from the one. This is from the yard sale where we actually got footage. I ventured out into jewelry. Wait, I might have another piece. I don't know. Yes. I think I buy, I'm going to maybe keep, look, these were 50 cents. I think I'm going to keep the hoops for myself, but I couldn't find any writing on this, but I thought it was unique enough to pick them up just to venture out into jewelry because I haven't done that before. And then this was a dollar. 
look, I think this is the one that was marked. I think it says, here, what does it say? Germany? Western Germany. Ooh. All right, so this is marked. Marked Western Germany. So that dates it sometime between 1945 and 91. Somewhere, somewhere in there. 90. So, those of you who do jewelry, give me some comments. And then I just thought this was unique. It was also a dollar. But again, another pen. But some seamstress out there is going to really love that. And it says, oh, just made in China on the back. Just something different, right? Something to learn something and I thought this was cute look 75 cents and it says it's a like a you know foldable pair of scissors I don't know Robert I have to do I'll end up cutting myself I just thought it was very unique folding embroidery scissor Why do they call it a scissor? I've always heard it called a scissors. I don't is it, know. Is it a single but did thing? it say scissor? It did say scissor, right? Oh, all right. He showed me how to do it. Except my hands are too weak. There. Look at that. Kind of neat. But I'm not even going to try to put it back. And then here's some more coffee mugs. One dollar in this cute little basket. But it says, look, Benjamin Moore paint. I just thought it was unique. But again, I, I, I pick up stuff like this without ever checking comps. And then they had some fabric there. I paid two dollars for it. It's probably only worth like eight to ten. But it's Daisy Kingdom, so I might get surprised. It says children's sleepwear. So I'll use all those keywords. There's 1758, Raggedy Ann and Andy, Christmas Border, all kinds of information. But I'm thinking still probably 10 or so dollars for it. I had to look. What? Is scissor a correct word? Scissor is the singular version of the same noun. It is almost never used much the same way that bellows are nearly always referred to in the plural. As noted above, the default singular form would be a pair of scissors. So I, I had to know. It was right. Because it said scissor on it there, says right? Scissor, it says not scissor. scissors. But I've never heard any, I've never, you know, come across anybody calling it a scissor. Another mug. But look, it says, I love mugs. It's dirty. Look. But it's. Made in Korea from the Love Mug Ink. I just thought it was a unique. Is it named Herbie? Herbie the Love Bug. Yeah. All right. Robert says if this isn't worth anything, this is going to be our Christmas tree this year. Just a big old Charlie Brown. I'm guessing it's supposed to look like that. Oh, look, it's got Linus's blanket at its feet. That'll be interesting. I got to go peek. How much was it? It was like a dollar, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't a dollar, but it was like two or three. It might end up being our tree this year. My kids will have a fit. They love Christmas trees. but Especially Lance. Well, yes, but they put it, they help me put it up. Nobody helps me take it down. And I'm one of those people. I like all of my ornaments back in their original packaging. So this might be, you know, the tree this year because last year again they abandoned me and I had to do it all by myself. It sells anywhere from 10 to 30 new. So oh. that's going to be our tree. Maybe, maybe not. Because it's looking pretty new. It's either that one or I'm getting a Clark Griswold tree and going to blow out the <laughs> living room windows. No. All right. I paid $3 for this, y'all. But as soon as I pulled it out and it said made in 
let's see it says artistic ceramics made in Poland look it's got the original paperwork in here certificate of authenticity it says the Zanger company so I'm hoping maybe 25 and up for it and this I paid five dollars for it it is partially opened on the bottom but you can tell it's not I don't think it's been out I don't think this is going to be what they refer to as satin I think it's more of a pat uh, like a polyester or something nylon binding I don't know but a lot of these type blankets especially if it's that shiny um, satin it's like 50 60 70 dollars especially if you get it in the packaging but I'll have to do some more comps on it I think this looks like this was from Goodwill when we went it's been a couple of weeks but I guess this got buried in the car I did pick up a few plush there even though I have been complaining about their new price increase but this is Wildlife Artists Bass Pro Shop. I tend to do really well with any of these that came from the Bass Pro Shop. People are trying to fill in um, collections. I just had a question this week from somebody. They wanted to know when it was made. And there's actually on the tags, it says like this one is fall 2015. The one that she asked questions about was spring 2011 and she was looking for the spring 2013. So that's how much people are searching for these these things. They want the exact season. So I'll have to make sure next time that I include that in the title. I thought of my viewer, Sherry, who tends to buy a lot of gorilla stuff from me. This is TV Trading Company. I think a lot of those are also dandy, but um, whatever's on the tag is what I list it for. I just thought it was a cute, was cute. I think I ended up paying like $2.99 for it at Goodwill. All right, Robert picked this up at Goodwill, $4.99. It was a Mrs. T pot. I'm thinking it's like, what company? Mr. Coffee. Oh yeah, Mr. Coffee. Do you remember what the comps were? I want to say 30 probably 30. I'm not sure if this is going to be one of those things we part out or keep as is. It does seem to have its instructions, but it would be a whole lot easier to part it out. I just found these in the car. They are born, but they're my size. So I'm going to have to see if it's something that I want to keep for myself. That's the problem when you yard sell and you find stuff that's your size, you tend to want to keep it for yourself, at least for a season, right? more shoes we've been picking up a bunch these are timberland waterproof boots paid two dollars for them i don't know what the comps are don't know but I say it, it was 30 and up for those i think just for a minute Ugh. this is a bread maker i'll test it this one's by will belt well built well built but we buy these for the pans and the paddles a lot of times you can get anywhere from like $20 and up, depending on the, the manufacturer. But of course, I'll test this to see if it works. But a lot of times I may end up just taking the lid off after we clean it up and also selling it for replacements. This was $5, but, but it had a second set of stuff. This is a Betty Crocker bread machine book and another... pan and paddle inside just clean them up this one's heavy i want to say this one the pan and the paddle were like 25 or 30 dollars right so we paid five for all of it and so we'll get quite a few parts out of that one this one doesn't have a jiggler it's in another box she put oh. it in another box oh so I'll have to go. she wanted to do that and I didn't want to tell her no, but it's in one of the boxes. Okay. This is, I believe this one's Miro. Miro Matic. It's heavy, y'all. <laughs> but here's the bottom. It does have the little insert in the bottom. Um, as you can see right here. 
We paid two dollars for it. The jiggler is here somewhere. I'll have to find it. It does have a gasket on here, but a lot of times I put in my listings that the gasket probably needs to be replaced because these older ones, you know, they've been used so much that this could possibly have issues. And I can already tell it's buckling right there on one side. So I'll probably I'll probably include it, but I'll say it needs to be replaced. But do you remember what comps were on this? I do not. Yeah. My gut says probably anywhere from like $25 and up because a lot of people enjoy canning. Um, so they've, they've been hard to find. We have several because we can every couple of years. So, you know, people are always looking for more of them. If you hear the feet upstairs walking, pacing, that's probably RJ brushing his teeth because he, when he reads, when he, when, he walks, when he, was, he would just pace back and forth around the kitchen reading and he does the same thing when he brushes when he his brushes teeth. brushes his teeth. Yep. So he just kind of walks a circle until we have the timed toothbrushes. So he just walks until the timer's done. I'm going to pull out part this. It's going to be one, another one of those things that we do parts, 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 parts. But this was a Ninja. It has tons of lids and bowls. And here's some more stuff. This was one of the, I don't know what they call it, the top model where you put the motor on top right. of the bowls. And there's several of these with the little blades. So I, more than likely, all of this is going to be parted out piece by piece and a lot of times they're like ten dollars and up per piece as a replacement last thing last last thing i'm glad you're cleaning this but it's this two dollars that might be where the jiggler is for the oh it might be yes jiggler i'm gonna pull it and put it right there um but again is this gonna get parted Yes, this is the one I did a short on. Oh, yes. He did the, the short on it where each of these pieces, you know, this probably would sell for maybe 20 together. But when we part it all out, it's probably going to be about... It was, it was about $50. About out. 50 Oh, look at this. Oh, this is the book for the, the cooker. So, yeah. Definitely keep your eyes out for these Sunbeam Oscar. I have several here. We just thought our the last video that we did a haul on has another one of these, but it has a lot more parts than mm -hmm. this one. So, oh, and I just realized this was in there too. I bought three pieces of this, but look, the Sphinx something made in Holland. But I've got the pitcher, which was a dollar fifty. This little casserole dish for a dollar. And a larger one. A larger one was a dollar. And I think when I did comps, it was it was gonna be up there. So I'll, hopefully I'll ha I can put them wait that way for you. Probably not over there. Why? Right here. Oops. Right here. No. no, right here. <laughs> Always backwards. Always. All right. So I've got a lot of work to get done because, you know, it's fourth quarter. People are going to be looking for stuff like this. People are going to realize they've got a broken piece to something that they've pulled out because they're going to be doing holiday cooking. So this, this weekend, I'm going to try to, we're going to team up and get a bunch of this clean so I can get it listed. All right, let's get to work, guys. It's early. It's 9 in the morning here, so I'm getting ready to get started. Bye.